it's Sam. I've just wanted to jump on because I've got a bit of an epic haul to share with you today. Um, this isn't all of it, obviously this is just a couple of the papers. I've got a great big pile sat to one side that I wanted to go through with you. Um, if you've seen my recent video, you'll know that I have just finished working um, full time and I'm now working from home. And when I left, the um, guys that I used to work with know me so well and got me a big voucher for hobby craft. So I went in and had a bit of a, an epic spending spree. And also, as I haven't been crafting for a few months, I kind of needed a a bit of a fresh start and a bit of some sort of motivation so obviously getting new supplies gives me a bit of a kick start so there's a bit of a mixture because I haven't crafted for a few months when I was crafting there was some new products and new ranges out that I really really wanted um, which are now a few months old and they're actually I've picked up a few bits in sales reduced but also there's whole new ranges that I hadn't seen at all so I kind of went a bit mad with older stuff in the sales and the new stuff because to me it's all new and I just needed more things so <laughs> I'll get straight into it I thought I'd start with the papers because it's easy and big I've also got about 10 different projects on the go at the minute like usual so these are all for different things so as I go through I'll tell you what I plan on using them for so the first thing I got is this paper from Crate Paper um, and it's from the Little Boy Blue range and this one was reduced in the sale because it is slightly older I think I have got this paper already but it, I've got a thing for cut parts so I like to have some spares and I'm going to do a pregnancy journal and obviously when the little one arrives I'll be doing baby journals so I thought these would be perfect for that we don't know the sex yet as I go through you'll see I've got a mix of boy and girl and I'll just mix them up I don't mind um, I'm hoping to do kind of a not a junk journal but the, the I'm going to do a traveller's notebook but the style and it's going to be very junky and mismatched and vintagey so hope, I thought these would go really well for that There's some really cute things on obviously the it's a boy I can't use but all the other ones I should be able to well, I don't know if I can use, might be able to use, well, we'll see. So it might be that I've got a few that I can get rid of. And the back of that is really cute as well. It's these kind of stalk, it's a bit like a bingo card. Um, I thought they were really sweet, so I grabbed one of those. And then pull it to one side. The next one I got is another crepe paper one. This is Little You, and this is the girls one. I don't know if it says girl on there anywhere. Nope, it doesn't. So I could use any of those in the, oh, Sweet Baby Girls, the only one. I could just put sweet baby and put a sticker over that or something. So that one I'm going to be using hopefully again in my pregnancy journal or baby journal when the baby arrives and the pink stripe which is really sweet. And then I'd, like I said I'd seen those previously these ranges but I hadn't got them because I, I just hadn't got around to getting them so these are new to me even though they're slightly older but there's now new boy and girl ranges out which are super cute. So I got this one which is Pebbles night night i think is the range um sweet baby girl and then they do a sweet baby boy one so this is the girl one so there's maybe one or two that i wouldn't so it's a girl i'll have to put that to one side obviously um and sweet baby girl but again i could just put a sticker over there but the rest of them are quite generic and i could just use these in a pregnancy journal and yeah i think they're really really sweet and the back's this kind of safety pin nappy pin which is really cute then i got the boy version as well so it's so like these in a dream big little one and dream boat, eat, sleep, repeat. I can use all those. The cute little guy, maybe not. <laughs> it's a boy, maybe not. We'll have to fight. I'll put them to one side and then I'll gift the ones that I don't use. Um, but yeah, new baby, hush little baby, all of these I can use, no problem. And then just a, a blue version of that nappy pin on the back. And then I picked up a few for some other projects. So I got this crepe paper here and there paper. I hope that's in sharp, there we go. Um, it's, which is their cut apart and I've just been on holiday just had my honeymoon so I've got that to document um, and I'm still catching up with last year's trips and things as well so I thought this would be a really good one to pick up love the cut aparts on there and then the back's just this kind of diamond kind of sketchy diamond pattern and then again another travel one this is the crepe paper here in their range as well this one's called passport sorry the other one's called photo op and this one's passport so I actually went to Africa as well for our honeymoon so that would be perfect and just use that as backgrounds or chop it up for project life cards and I really like that side as well the kind of clacker board which is pretty cool and then like I said I have a bit of a thing for cutouts and cut apart sheets they're just gorgeous this is from the um, Maggie Holmes Flourish line which I know is a bit old now but again I hadn't got any of this and it is just beautiful so I had to pick up some of this um, so this is the cut apart sheet and it's just absolutely gorgeous they're so cute I think I could use that one in maybe the pregnancy journal um, and then they could go in any to be fair on project life or any scrapbooks even junk journals some of these and the back is stunning as well but I don't quite know how you'd use that I might have to see on Pinterest something how people have used that because it's a bit of a tricky one but it is beautiful 
And then another range which is a little bit older but I haven't got any of is the Maggie Holmes Carousel range. Which is another one that I was eyeing up a few months ago. Um, and never managed to get my hands on so I've picked up a few of those. So this is the Cut Apart label sheet. I never have enough labels. I'm always really struggling in my project life to find labels so I thought this would be perfect. I can chop all those up. Um, and the back's really pretty as well, the pink, but I'll probably just use the labels. So I actually picked up two of that one. You can't have too many labels. This is still from the Carousel range. It's called Carnival, another cut apart sheet. Which again, it's just gorgeous. I think the giraffe might go in the pregnancy kind of journal. Um, and then the rest I can chop up and put into Project Life. And the back is, again is this gorgeous pink. And then this one is, oh, this is Amy Tangerine. Now I don't, sorry, that's the pile, if you can hear that in the background, that's a pile of stuff falling over. I've got too much stuff. I don't have any Amy Tangerine stuff. And I think it's beautiful and I love it, but I just, the colours, I don't know how to use them. They're really, really bright and it's not quite my style. So I haven't ever got anything, but this was just stunning. So I got this one for the cut parts, but I also absolutely love the back as well. Just kind of all these little word phrases, which again, you could cut out and use like little word stickers. So I'm going to enjoy playing with that one, but it's a, like I said, I've never used Amy Tangerine stuff. So looking forward to using that, put that back over. And then I really treated myself. Like I said, I haven't got any of the carousel range and it is just gorgeous. So I picked up the 12 by 12 paper pack, my, pack from Maggie Holmes. And you've probably all seen this because it isn't new. So I'll just do a really quick flick. Just make sure it's in screen. But it's absolutely stunning. Um, the zebras. So I'm going to mix this up and use it for Project Life. And, oops, sorry. And also the, the baby stuff that I'm doing. Um, I'm also wanting to start trying the 12 by 12 scrapbooking. I've never done it before, but I think I might just, it's just every now and again in my project life, I find there's a photo that I want to make more of a fuss about and do kind of a whole spread on. So I thought I might mix it up and slot some 12 by 12 um, layouts in with my project life album. That's another one of those cutter parts. The only difference in the actual book, I don't know if you can tell, but there's glitter and foiling and things on these ones. Um, so yeah, so this is the full, full book which is absolutely beautiful to see that that page is all glittery and if you can tell but it is all glittered so I'm really looking forward to doing that and trying that out and seeing if I can get some 12 by 12 scrapbooking done as well another one of the cutter parts so I treat myself to that and then oh sorry the dogs are barking in the background if you can hear that as well um and then I managed to find the six by six flourish paper pack in the sale which is even better because I haven't got any of that so I've picked up some of the papers like you've seen and this is just stunning absolutely love this i've got so many pretty new papers to play with sorry i know that none of these are new to you guys but i have been out of the loop a little bit so all new to me and just beautiful beautiful papers so i'm really looking forward to using these i love that <laughs> the little bugs and the black and whites that's amazing as well i don't know quite again quite how to use that one but it is stunning so and then it just repeats through all the patterns again so i've grabbed that one and then something else i grabbed on the sale pack but the, the box is quite damaged there's nothing wrong with what's inside but the box is quite damaged and it was the only one there so i don't know if they're all reduced in hobbycraft or if it's just this one because the damaged packaging i'm not sure but it's the project life good times pack um and they're all kind of sorry about the glares on that's awful isn't it let's try and take it out it's already open so i may as well um they're all black and white um like chalk cards so let's move that box out of the way. So just to give you kind of a flavour for them, but they're all like chalk, look like chalkboard that has been written on. Um, the big ones all seem to be kind of journaling spots and uh, like title ones like this one. They don't seem to have many filler cards in the, the big ones. Um, but the little ones, you've got plenty of journaling spots. Can't find them now, typical, isn't it? Lots of journaling spots, but they do have ones like that where it's a filler card or like this where it's a big quote so you know, go and make it happen fill your heart with what's important and they're all really sweet kind of love and life and friends um, th there's a lot of love themed in here so I thought this would be really good for um, doing my wedding album I'll use it for other things as well but particularly my wedding album I thought for this one so that was a bargain for nine pound you get 180 cards so I'll never get my way through them it's like all the value kits and core kits and things you just get so much stuff in there it's amazing but that's that and then something I've been desperate for I picked up one of the sticker books um, 
I know you've all seen these before. I really, really want the Maggie Holmes ones, the Maggie Holmes one as well. Um, but I got the Heidi Swap one, and there's just, I mean, there's 1,502 stickers, and this would be awesome for everything. So I'm going to use it on my project life, but also I do a lot of planning stuff, as you might have seen. So it'd be good for those. I love the washi strips, and there are just so, so many stickers. So it's, I'm going to have to kind of make a conscious effort to reach for this and try and go through it, otherwise I'll never use them all. But that's just beautiful. And I loved it as well that it comes in like a proper packet that you can fasten back up and oops, put the elastic on. So that's really cool. So really, really happy with that. But I haven't found the Maggie Holmes one. They didn't have any of that in stock. So if anyone sees it anyway, let me know. But I picked that one up. And then some embellishments and stickers and pretty things. I'll get to. So I was running out of thickers. Well, no. I'm not running out of thickers, that's a lie. I've got hundreds and hundreds of packs of thickers, but they're all coloured, so I've got loads of like pink and orange and red and yellow and all those sort of things. And I've noticed when I'm doing Project Life, I actually want neutrals quite a lot, like all my blacks have run out and whites have run out. So I went to get a few more fairly neutral thickers. So I picked up this pack, Vicky it's called. I don't know if you can see it very well with the glare, but it's black with this gorgeous white kind of font written on it absolutely beautiful so I picked up a pack of those it's got loads of numbers and punctuation in it as well so I got one of those and then I got this one which is called Marquee and it's really beautiful it's a wood grain but with a gold kind of glitter edge so I absolutely adore those so and it's all caps so that's even better and there's numbers and punctuation at the end and then I just picked up one pack of these gold um, recollection thickers and these were, I thought these would go really well with my wedding album. So there's kind of lots of, oh, sorry, my camera doing silly things. Um, lots of florals and leaves and lovely sentiments and things that I thought would be really nice for my wedding album. So look forward to sharing those with you as well when I get to that. Then I also picked up this pink paisley pick-me-up line. I haven't got the papers, but I just really liked some of the stickers and embellishments. Um, so I picked these up as well. Some tiny word stickers, love life, beautiful, just really easy things to use, florals and hearts and butterflies and things. So I thought that was gorgeous and I picked up the ephemera pack that goes with it as well, the pick me up pack. I'm not going to open these because they'll just go everywhere but you can see on the back the sort of things you get if I hold that up. So wonderful, marvellous, um, I can't read that bottom bit, oh this is where the fun stuff happens it says on there, celebrate, laughter, it's just some really easy things to use and like I said, loads of florals there's a couple of swimsuits and boats but like I said I'll use those for holiday layouts so that's really cool so I've got a pack of those and then baby things because <laughs> like I said I'm going to do a pregnancy journal and obviously the, when the baby arrives we'll do something for them so this pebbles range again like I got in the papers I picked up the boy and the girl because we don't know what I have him but I can use I can use most of them for both so there are a few I mean that says baby girl and that says baby boy but there's lots of dummies and nappy pins and animals that I can use uh, baby love, snuggle time, there's plenty I can use, bottles, rattles, sorry about the glare guys, it's pretty bad today isn't it? So there's loads of things on there that I can use and then the little girl one's got a gorgeous sheep on it, I love that, again dummies, flowers, all sorts of things that I can put in a pregnancy journal. And that fox, oh my goodness, can you see him, he's wood grain, he's amazing. I really want to use him but I want to hoard him at the same time so I have to see. Big gold hearts with love and bunnies and flowers, sweet dreams. So yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous ranges there. And then I had to get the ephemera packs to match and the stickers which I'll show you in a minute. So this is the, the baby girl version and again it just matches that sticker pack. You can see the animals and the bunnies and things on there. And the baby boy one which is just gorgeous. I love these, I love the kind of little whales and clouds and oh, they're just so sweet. Can't wait to use those. I will share my pregnancy journal and I do them. I'm, I'm only 21 weeks and I've not even started it yet. <laughs> I've bought the stuff, I've bought the journal and all the supplies but I haven't started it yet. Um, and then I got the puffy stickers that match as well. So this is the girl one. It's awful glare, I'm sorry. There's that fox again. Sheep and swans and all sorts of gorgeous things. And then the little boy one. I love the bottles, it's got a whale in if you can see him there dummies and boats and all sorts of really pretty things so that's everything that I've got that's, well it's probably enough to be going on with <laughs> for the meantime but I just wanted to jump on and share it with you so I hope you enjoyed all that um one other thing I found whilst I was there which I didn't buy but I picked up the leaflet because I wanted to share it with you um it's project life and they do these all-in-one kits now I don't know if anyone's am I way 
I might just be really late to the party, like I said, I've been out the loop. But has anyone tried these? Because it's got a 6x8 album in, plus the Project Life cards, plus the pocket pages. So it's literally like the full kit. And there's a let's look, Maggie Holmes one there, which looks gorgeous. And I really want to try one, but I can't think what I'll use it for. Because I obviously do Project Life and journaling and things already. It needs kind of a contained project. But they're just gorgeous. And I remember thinking that the price was really good as well. I can't remember off the top of my head what it was. Um, but I remember thinking you got a lot of stuff for the price. So if anyone's used any of those and for a little project, let me know because I'm really intrigued by those. I might have to go back and get them. So anyway, that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I will share some videos of what I make with all this stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye.